slide of we have a problem with the slide you can ask your price your okay more than 
the previous uh, Susenas, to survey for national and uh, social uh, development. So, by having better data, we could have capacity to have an assessment, better study, or also uh, do better planning uh, for a person with a disability. However, there have been some challenges, as you may feel and see in many places in, uh, here. Uh, next. First, how that the growth uh, would be inclusive and bring the prosperity equally for everybody. Uh, ensuring the implementation of the inclusive principle and no one left behind needs uh, the same understanding, starting from the definition, the data, the uh, elaborative data, as well as the planning, in which can be used to have a program and intervention that are more inclusive, meaning can be targeted directly to the person with disability as well as to be used for the program that are mainstreaming uh, the needs as well as the protection for the person with disability. Listening to all voices, including, including the uh, organization for people with disability, needs systematic way how to be uh, include as representative as many as possible. It's not easy because we are quite uh, fast country and in fact the person with disability you always uh, or some of them are located in far flung area. Uh, communication, coordination often time is a challenge for us to communicate as well as listening, ensuring uh, to listen to all voices. Uh, next slide, please. So other challenges also include aligning the government priorities, not only across sectors, but also regions. So within the decentralization, the, uh, it's still a challenge. That's why through the uh, some instruments, we try to, to make it possible. For example, in the next year, 2020, we already developed what we call as a specific grant for social development. One of the intention for using the decentralization grant in which uh, some uh, in the form of a specific grant is for the assistive devices. So in this regard, we could help the local government to be more uh, inclusive by not only providing the enabling environment that are more inclusive but also learning more about what kind of the, of the assist, uh, uh, devices, assistive devices that are needed for the uh, people with disability. Of course, there are many that are still gaps that the innovation and technology will be part of the idea that can be accelerate the gaps, particularly to make the environment and also the, the implementations of the program, many programs at the locals become more inclusive. So it, some challenges that I have mentioned about the database, converging about the database of the social registry, that include of the 40% lowest income group by name, by address, uh, and by need. It's not always easy when we are talking about converging with other database, i.e. including the health insurance, the civil registry, and several others. But uh, every time it's gonna be improved because more mechanism and also more uh, better understanding of the people, including the local government, adopted the use of the UDP, the Unified Database, and try to link with other uh, database. Measuring the impact of the program and the intervention is another challenge how to ensure the people with disabilities. So I urge uh, 
uh, all of you we are talking here in universities i do hope that the university can be uh, um, have many opportunity by having better data better and more detailed data on persons with disability to have more studies in regard to to give an, uh, 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 an assessment and give a perception uh, uh, more descriptive as well as analysis uh, to uh, about the, the life the, the life or the condition of the people with disability and about where to go and how to uh, close the gap in terms of uh, providing an opportunity as well as uh, improving the capacity of the person with disability. At the end, we have to uh, aware that. Uh, the, the, the geographical condition is, is, is part of the challenges. So that's why thinking about the mobility, the communication, I think uh, that's one of the idea that we need to meet more often, communicate more intense in, in, um, in many ways, uh, in which currently we could utilize many forms of the communication. So based on the, uh, the framework, the SDGs, and also the challenges that we have, next, please, uh, we lay out the technocratical framework of the midterm development plan for the next five years. We call it the RPGMN 2020 till 2024. Uh, the national priorities, which consists of uh, program activities, as well as the indicators and the uh, strategy to make sure that the quality and the competitiveness of the human capital in Indonesia are really improved. So the theme for Indonesia, because the because because we are about to to be part of the upper middle income group, upper middle country. Uh, in one way, it opened up the opportunity for us to grow more, but then the challenge how to make that the growth are inclusive. Some of the mainstreaming principles as well as the development principles include like the gender, the governance, social capital, sustainable development, ensuring justice for all, maintaining uh, fostering self-sufficiency is but it's the principles that all sectors need to be adopted, as well as the local government. So among the priorities that have been put there is how to improve the quality and the competitiveness of the human capital. So when we are talking about the human capital, it means all the people, all Indonesian, including the person with disability. Some targets and indicators that have been put up there, next please, is about the, for example, this is only for example, uh, and, and it's catered in some of the programs, include number of the person with disability who have access to the basic education, number of the ministries and local governments that provide job opportunity for the person with disability, number of firms that provide job for person with disability, uh, number of the uh, specific literacy, for example, for the person with disability. This is only among many other indicators that have been aligned with the SDGs indicators. Around 60 indicators currently within the 60% indicators in the RPGM are aligned with the SDGs. Next, please. There are a couple of rationales why we should be more inclusive. First, actually the number of the person with disability, because we have a better data, is growing. So currently approximately around 8.5% uh, or around 21 million uh, people are accounted as a person with disability. However, there have been some challenges that I mentioned earlier about the lower level of participation, some is, uh, experiencing about the uh, social exclusion, and also lack of access to public services and facilities. Meanwhile, we also have 
more uh, regulation. So not only the UNCRPD, the United Nations uh, Convention for Right of the Person with Disability that uh, have been ratified in 20, 2011. We also just passed the law following up the ratification to revise the law for person with disability. Based on that law, there have been some uh, follow-up to complete it with the implementation regulations of the law number 8, uh, 2016. This is the one that I'll talk more uh, later. The shifting paradigm is also happening in many sectors as well as the local government. Uh, from the charity base to the work on the human rights base. And also the disability related policy, many of them now are aimed not only giving a, a transfer or assistance, but aim to fulfill the person with disability uh, rights yeah, and also the protection as well as the opportunities. So the challenge currently is still on how to make all those programs more efficient and effective. That's why we need more implementation guidelines as well as the implementation uh, regulations. Next please. An update because the, the revision for the law for person with disability have been two years enacted. Uh, there have been uh, some updates. One of them actually already enacted, which is for the uh, social welfare. This is PP or the government regulation number 52, 2019. It's just passed. Uh, another PP, the RPP, for the planning, implementation, and also the evaluation is already at the president's table. So hopefully, before the inauguration for the second term, uh, he could sign the RPP for the planning, implementation, and evaluation uh, for the person with disability. Some other PP or the government regulation are still in progress. Among others, including the uh, RPP for reasonable accommodation in the law enforcement, inclusive education, disability service unit. This is already uh, initiated by the Manpower, Ministry of Manpower. Also for the accessibility and public services. And uh, there, there is only one RPP that is not been uh, decided for the initiator, which is for the incentive and the compensation of the uh, person with disability. Next, please, I want to talk more about the RPP for the planning. So, as an attachment of the RPP, is the RPP is in a mandate for uh, from the law number six. The mandate is about master plan of the person with disability. So, as a master plan, there are seven uh, strategy, big strategy, including data and inclusive planning, environment without barrier, right protection and access to justice, empowerment and self-help, inclusive economy, education and vocational, and access to equity in health. So, within the RIPD, the master plan, there is a strategic uh, objective, there is a strategic policies, strategy on the implementation as well as the target, the target and the uh, parties that need to be responsible. So including the ministries and also the local government. The example of this, next please. I put the I put number one about the environment without barrier. So the initiators or the, the stakeholders will be included in this. Uh, not only include of the Ministry of Public Works, for example, but also include for the apparatus ministry, the social ministry, the MOHA, the Home Affairs, 
the uh, com communic the ICT and and communication and also the uh, religion ministry for example. So for the ministry of uh, religion, they have that there have been some uh, strategy that enabling or improve the access of the person with disability in praying and doing the pilgrimage. This is only the, the, the example. So uh, along the line, there have been some initiatives uh, that are more, uh, most currently, that are more inclusive. I think we, we need to give more examples about how to, because it's not about people don't, don't want don't want to do it, but many still don't know how to do it. Uh, likewise, in providing the uh, uh, settlements, providing the public transportation, public communication, and other public facilities. Uh, next, please. Other things that we need to uh, endorse is about alignment of the policies and the regulation that have been aimed for person with disability with other programs and initiatives. So one effort or one example is how to ensure that the Dana Desa, the village one, are inclusive. Currently one village have transfer triple or some of them are quadruple actually. Uh, compared to several years ago. So by having that, it is very impossible not only providing the enabling environment that are free barriers, but also how to improve the capacity of the person with disability, open up the opportunity for person with disability to go out to access all the public services as well as get a job. So by having this, we would uh, also go along the line uh, optimizing the village fund to empowering the community as well as improving the mechanism of the participatory and the bottom-up planning. Other effort that we have, um, uh, next please, is about developing a local government commitment. So, besides President's direction, in some uh, events, there have been some local leaders that quite champion how to improve the inclusiveness in their region. So currently, for example, through Apexi, the associations of the mayor, at least there are 14 mayors that already enact the regulation for inclusive cities. Uh, some other provinces, yeah, including like uh, uh, 11 provinces and uh, several other districts, also enacted the regulations to provide an, uh, an access and also improve the capacity of the person with disability. Uh, some examples already we can see um, among others is the health post in Janti here in Mala that provide a braille, for example, for, uh, for the person with disabilities. There are several other uh, examples that you can see or maybe you may, you may experience uh, your own. Other that we also do is about uh, uh, promote the sensitization of disabled inclusiveness not only to the government or the progress, but also to the private. So, for example, some examples from the banks uh, working with the OJK, some banks already inclusive. For example, in terms of the providing the ATM that uh, has audio for blind people, uh, the Alliance company, for example, providing economic empowerment through challenges as well as incubation and uh, trainings, uh, training for trainer for uh, economic productivity. In the Mandiri, for example, there are some branches, uh, including Baby and I also, and 
through their CSR programs, they actually inviting disabled uh, people to have an intern in the in Bank Mandiri. So little by little, I think we could see about how uh, to be more inclusive. If there are some gap, I think there is still time for us to educate, to communicate, uh, as well as make other people or many uh, stakeholders really, really understand about the meaning of the inclusiveness. So at the end, uh, this uh, next slide, please. I'm talking about the the importance of the monitoring and evaluation for the inclusive development. So there are some area that maybe uh, some of the students here can can you can use to explore more or monitor as well as evaluate in terms of the ability, availability, accessibility, acceptance, and the quality. Or you you may also involve about assessing about the existence, the quality of the existence, the distribution because we are talking about Indonesia, 70,000 islands, so when we are quite okay in Java, how about in other islands? And also, of course, about sustainability, in which includes also the idea or the element of the affordability, the contribution of other sectors, as well as the mode of collaboration. At the end, all of this, there have been a big umbrella or framework that we can use within the SDGs that we can collaborate not only between local and central government but also with other country to really improve as well as realizing that 2030 is uh, we could say that no one left behind back in time. I think I, I should end my uh, update here. Uh, I don't mind to stay for a while or uh, taking up some questions if it is long. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.